Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup with brand new products that I have never used before. And I'm pretty excited. These are Some of these products are actually like really raved about. So I'm pretty excited to do my makeup today. And yeah, if you guys want to see how my makeup turns out, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so as you guys can tell, my brows are already done. And then if there are any products that I'm using that aren't brand new products, I'm just not going to include them in the video because obviously I feel like that is not what this video is about. It's more about me using brand new products. So... I'll kind of just edit them out and then only show you the brand new products that I am, that I did purchase, okay? So a lot of these products are some that I got in my BoxyCharm and then some that I actually purchased myself. So what I want to go ahead and use first is this Revolution Conceal and Define. This is from, I just think I just said that Makeup Revolution. This is what it looks like and I'm pretty sure everybody and their mothers have heard about this because it's been super raved about and I think I heard that it's comparable to the Shape Tape Concealer. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. This is a drugstore brand and um, yeah, I think that's why everybody was super excited about this. So I'm actually going to use this. Um, hopefully this is my shade. It might be more like of a closer to my actual skin tone than an actual uh, like highlight shade, but I can still use it to conceal. And I'm going to use it right now to kind of shape my eyebrows a little bit and then as a eye base for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to also just kind of drag it down my lid because I'm going to actually use this as an eye base. And I'm just going to take a Morphe M173 brush. A lot of the brushes in this video are not going to be new. There are a couple because I did get some in my BoxyCharm. And then I actually did also get some with my Morphe subscription that I haven't used. Um, but a lot of these brushes will not be new. I'll let you guys know which ones are brand new and which ones are not. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm just going to do the other eye. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so as far as eyeshadow goes, I'm going to go ahead and use this Alamar palette. This is such a pretty palette. Um, I did show it to you guys in my BoxyCharm. And, yeah, I've been waiting to use this palette for this video, so I haven't used it yet. And I'm going to go ahead and start with Coco Taxi, or Coco Taxi, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to pick that up with a blending brush, and I'm just going to put it all over the crease. And I kind of just like um, put it down here and then I'll go ahead and then blend it out. But because I actually haven't been putting setting powder on my lids to set them. Because my eyelids are actually not like really oily. So they don't set like really quickly or anything like that or crease on me. Um, and if I do start to notice something like that, I just go ahead and um, blend it out really quickly and, and they're pretty much gone. I just seem to like this technique a little bit better, so I've been doing that lately, and yeah. And what I'm kind of going to do, I'm just going to do one eye on camera, and then I'll finish the other one off of camera. That way this video is not too long, because that always somehow happens to me. I'm just picking a little bit more up, and I'm just kind of building the color up right here, right on my crease. I'm actually going to go ahead and go on with this Tropico color um, with the same exact blending brush. And I'm just going to start... Ooh, that one picked up really nicely on my brush. Right under Coco Taxi, but like a little bit almost over it, if that makes a little bit of sense. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with a Morphe E17 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of Cafecito, which is this brown right here. You know what? I even want to kind of mix it with this. Yeah, let's go for it. This is Guantanamera, and I'm going to go ahead and just mix both and put that on my outer crease. And I'm picking up those two colors, like, little by little. I'm honestly not putting too much on my brush because I really don't know, like, how the color payoff will be. And with dark colors, I'd rather start off a little bit slowly and, like, build it versus putting a whole bunch of color on there and then trying to diffuse it I kind of feel like those two colors and now it sucks because I don't know which one it is but I feel like I'm not really getting much of Guantanamera or Cafecito like I feel like I'm mixing them and I'm kind of adding them but I don't really I'm not really getting that much color off of it which is really weird I'm gonna go ahead and switch brushes 
Alright guys, so my camera actually died while I was filming, of course, um, but I went ahead and just caught up on my other eye, so now they look the same. Um, but basically, um, I just finished putting these two shades, the Guantanamera and Cafecito, like on my outer crease, like right outer V. And I do have to say, those two are a little bit more like patchy, and it's kind of hard to say which one, and most likely is this one right here. Um, it's just, it was just a little bit harder to blend and even when I did it just seemed like patchy and I would put a little bit more and it would kind of just like fade away. It was really odd. Um, but anyways, moving on, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease a little bit here in the front of my lips and then I'm either going to put one of these two shimmer shades on there. I'm not sure which one. Let me just go ahead and swatch them really. Oh, that one's really pretty. So this is... By here, this one is called, um, let me see. So this one in my middle finger is called El Male, oh, El Malecon. And then the this one right here on my index is La Costa. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them. <gasps> oh my goodness, these shades are so pretty. I think this is the exact same reaction I had when I swatched the other ones. But wow, that is beautiful. I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and go with El Malecon. It's such a pretty color. I don't actually think I have like a shimmer like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my on my lid. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and cut them. And then I'll be right back when I'm going to go ahead and put the shade on there. All right, guys. So I just went ahead and kind of like have cut my crease a little bit. Just to see if this color will stand out even more. But again, I'm using El Malecon. And this is a uh, MAC 242 brush. Oh, wow. That is so freaking pretty wow and by the way i didn't put like any fix plus on this brush or anything i did have concealer on here because i'll um kind of use it to cut my crease a little bit but i haven't put fix plus so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this side with no fix plus and then I will go ahead and spray it and just to see the difference. But by itself, it's already so pretty that you don't even need to add fix plus, honestly. Alright, so I'm just going to spray my brush. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I'm seriously in love with this shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to blend out right here. Just a little bit. And I actually went ahead and picked up a little bit of these two colors to kind of blend that out. Um, just because I wasn't really feeling the other two colors. And I'm just going to try to blend this all in together. So I'm going to go ahead and take La Costa and I'm just going to put that in my inner corners. I'm not sure that it'll really show just because this color is so vibrant and bright, but let's see. I do have a new foundation that I'm going to be using. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I am in the shade Cashew 3W2. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation, so I'm super excited to try it. Um, I feel like I might be in between shades, but we'll see. Right now I'm like super tan, so we'll see if this works out. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it with this Morphe Y7. I've never tried this brush and it was actually in my... Um, Morphe subscription, my Morphe brushes. So I already uh, went ahead and primed my face and I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this all over um, my face and see how it applies. I know, like I've heard so many good things about this. I really hope I like it. I feel like honestly I have so many foundations but I'm always on the hunt for a good foundation as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with this brush. I think it's a pretty good match. I don't think it's actually that bad. Um, hmm, I like this brush. It's pretty fast at spreading out the foundation and applying it, so I do like that. And I don't even tell you guys, but while I'm applying this, I'm going to go ahead and read what this foundation claims. So basically this foundation is a stay in place makeup. It's a 24 hour staying power. Wow, I don't, I don't think I have a foundation that claims it'll stay for 24 hours. So that's cool. And it says, it looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, nonstop activity. Won't change color, which that's good, thank you. And it says it won't smudge or come off on clothes. 
What? Okay. Okay, Estee Lauder. And then what else? Lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's long wear. Medium buildable coverage, buildable coverage, sorry. Won't clog pores, oil controlling. Wow, this foundation definitely claims a lot. So we shall see. I'm actually going out after this. So you know what? I'm going to let you guys know in the description box. Um, because obviously by the time I edit and upload this video. Basically, I just went ahead and applied um, the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I might end up, um, I'm just going to spray this. I might end up putting like a little bit of a lighter concealer under there. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, so far it's so good. Blending out pretty nicely. It has okay coverage. I wouldn't say it's as like heavy duty as the Tarte one. I just feel like Tarte, like you can just apply a little bit and it goes such a long way and it really does cover up a lot. I, I felt like I applied a pretty good amount with this Makeup Revolution one and I could probably still apply like a little bit more. Um, but it's it did blend out pretty nicely. I do like it. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. I'm going to use this to set my under eye. And um, I've never used this brush before. So it's definitely really soft. I'm going to go ahead and do Cream Contour. This is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. I actually really enjoy this contour stick. It's so easy to blend out and even though that's not a new product this Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush is and I had mentioned that um, I like brushes like this because they actually blend out cream products really good so let's see okay just off the bat it's really really soft but it's actually a little too flimsy for me I like these brushes to be just a little bit more stiff and it's a little bit like too flimsy and too long, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm like really trying to use this, but I can't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to my regular Real Techniques brush. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this video because I'm gonna finish my blush and highlight because I don't have any new ones. So let me go ahead and do the rest and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I actually also have an eyeliner that I wanted to try out. This is an LA Perfect Precision Eyeliner. This is in the shade Cobalt. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my lower lash line. Oh, wow. That was so easy to apply. It was so nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. I actually really, really like this. All right, you guys. Last but not least, I have some lip liners. And these are from LA Girl. Um, I've been, I have like a whole bunch that I ordered. Of, and these I have not opened yet because I wanted to do them on here. But I have tried this line of lip liners from LA Girl. And they were so good. So I doubt these will um, disappoint me because the other ones were so bomb. But I'm trying to figure out what color. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one and maybe this in the center. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open these. I have not opened them. As you guys can see, they're still sealed. So this is called Satin Plum. And let's see. I have to get really close to my mirror, okay? All right, you guys. So I ended up... Um, lining my lips with this and I kind of blended it in with this one. So this other one is called Pinky from LA Girl in case you guys are wondering. Alright you guys, so that is it for this makeup video and actually there was nothing that I have to complain about. I did have to switch out my um, brush that I was using to blend out my cream contour but it wasn't a big deal. I mean it just, I could use it for something else, it just not for that specifically but I honestly really really liked all the products. I absolutely love the eyeshadow palette and I actually really like the foundation. I'm still obviously going to test it out and I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. But go ahead and um, 
let you guys know in the bottom bar if I liked it and it was like full wear like it says it is. A lot of foundations start to look much better after you've been wearing them for a couple of hours. So we shall see. I will let you guys know in the bottom bar. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.